Okay, this is our first test of this microphone attached to the helmet. And we're starting the tractor, which is really cold right now. The temperature outside is probably around 16 degrees. There you go, baby. Oh, almost. I'll give that old glow plug another try. There we go. This snow is really crusted. Not much of it, but it's wet and it's got a layer of ice on top. I don't know if the sound of that uh, engine is coming through or not. This is supposed to be a unidirectional microphone. Uh, well, get back here. I didn't sh plow quite as far out as I usually, I shovel as far out as I usually do. So it makes getting this first section a little tricky without backing into the wall somewhere. You gotta give it to this old girl. She came to me around 1984, and I've been using it around here since then. Outside of a few repairs over the years, she's been kicking along pretty good. I had to put new tires on the back here a few years ago and rebuild the uh, front axle area, four-wheel drive stuff. But that seemed to work okay. I don't know if all those little footprints are uh, coming out in the video, but it looks like a combination of squirrel and something else that's got little feet. Got to put it in four-wheel drive. How about that? I didn't notice it going up that hill, though. That's a little better. Really curious if this microphone is uh, picking up any of that tractor noise. 
I'm really trying to figure out if this is going to work on the motorcycle and pick up any engine noise along with my voice. Being a directional microphone, it's supposed to be emphasizing my voice and blanking out stuff coming from the other side. And right now the microphone is pointing right towards my mouth. When I finish this little area down here and start to go up the hill, I think I'll switch it over to facing more straight up. See if I can find a happy medium. Between engine and uh, my voice. As when I'm using the uh, motorcycle, I would like to have a little engine in the background. Okay. Let's switch this microphone over. Alright, right now the microphone is facing straight up. Probably not picking up an awful lot of anything, but I figured I'd give it a try this way. Okay, second gear. Let's go, baby. I did have bare pavement underneath this stuff at one time. audio with the mic facing straight up. Now I'm going to face it forward and see how that works.
All right, now the microphone is facing more towards my chest. Into the shadow we go. Give it that last little inch before that tree. Okay, this is test number three from my sound shield. Right now I cut a small piece of uh, two inch diameter plastic. It's uh, about a less than a sixteenth thick. I cut it from an old CD, um, the little disc that come on top of your CDs. Um, we'll see how that works. All right, the tractor's running. I think I'll take it down the road a little bit and see how that's going. Go out and get the paper. Climbing the hill, going up. Whoa, got to put it in four wheel drive. Probably help a little bit with climbing. That's about the loudest you're going to hear out of the engine. Kind of a lazy man's way of getting the paper, I guess. Okay, this is test number two. This has the uh, dense foam shield on the microphone, and we will see the, how it sounds with the tractor. The tractor is running, same speed as before. Uh, the microphone is uh, apparently performing okay, and we will see how this sounds when I play it on the uh, computer. I hope that it deadens some of the sound of the engine because that's my object here is to uh, have less engine noise and a little more voice 